morning guys welcome to a frosty canterbury morning Ooh, a little bit cool out there this morning i think it was about minus four um, degrees when uh, i got up this morning so good old frost all around the place so anyway we're off to geraldine with the uh, hog club today we're going to take a bit of a uh, detour. We're going to head down State Highway 1, turning left and uh, doing a bit of a detour through some of the uh, country roads, through the likes of Leeston, etc. And then uh, back onto the main highway, back through um, Ash Burton, down to Geraldine. So it's been a while since I've been on the bike. Just. Uh, <laughs> Been busy doing other stuff and the weather hasn't been that great for motorcycle riding obviously middle of winter but uh yeah today looks like it's going to be a good one i mean that's a good thing about generally when you have a frost You're pretty much guaranteed a, a lovely day so we've got uh glenn leading the ride he's the new director of the christchurch hop club it's all good Troy after Glenn, um, Lee in front of me, and then we've got uh, Clarky behind me, and Leone is tail end Charlie today. So not a big group, but uh, that's all good. <laughs> I'm certainly looking forward to the coffee stops. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Just to warm up the system. It's that bloody cold, I've actually put my rain um, cover gloves over my ordinary gloves. So, um, yeah, just to give myself an extra layer from the cold. Uh, problem is, something I'm not enjoying about them is they're slippery as hell on the um, hand grip. Yeah, I'm, I'm can't say I noticed the problem when you know I've used them in the rain so maybe in the rain the, the damp makes them clingy but uh, yeah quite slippery now which is just a little unnerving but uh, yeah maybe I'll get used to it yeah so like I say it's been a while since I've been on the bike really done a few f short trips the odd Saturday morning into the local Harley Davidson uh, dealership just to catch up with the guys there and what have you but other than that no rides Well, here we are folks, Springston. So we're basically sort of gone out skirting around Lake Ellesmere, which is a massive lake just south of Christchurch. Alrighty, just coming into the uh, town of Leeston. It's quite a uh, neat destination. The old Sunday rides on the motorcycle. It's got the bloody awesome pub out here called the Creighton Barrel. That's a really quite a popular destination. Come out here on the bikes and there's normally bloody classic cars and hot rods and things out here as well. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty amazing pub out in the middle of Leeston here sort of like almost been built in the lines of a um, hard rock cafe type thing with all the paraphernalia it has on the walls motorbikes and guitars and boats hanging out out of the sides of the uh, walls so we might get a glimpse of it there it is crate and barrel just there so there's a beauty beauty spot check out the southern alps guys Oh, oh, good layer of snow up there. I believe the ski fields around um, here are doing a roaring train, so that's all good. Oh, 
by Huggy Wolf, it ain't getting any warmer the further south we go, that's for sure. Struth! Man, this extra layer um, glove that I've got on, along with the uh, heated gloves that I'm wearing, is just working a treat. My hands are bloody warm as. Um, normally, you know, if I just had the heated gloves on, the hands would still get cold because that bloody cold still works its way through the gloves. But, um, yeah. Uh, not today. Obviously if I had heated hand grips it would be even better but um, I don't so uh, yeah well, um, the system I've got going at the moment is working a treat. I've been on rides before where it's been that cold and I haven't had the proper blimmin' um, you know gloves on for, for the conditions. I've got the places like service station and gone to take my helmet off and haven't been able to find the clip because my fingers were that numb had no feeling in them couldn't find the um, chin strap rather so had to sort of walk around the service station and all the feeling came back in my hands not a great scenario especially when you're riding a bike so we're just passing through require guys so I'm still humming and harring as to what um, mufflers to put on this bike. Ooh. I was quite keen on the Reinhardt Racing, uh, I think they're DBX 40s. Um, but yeah, I just got a little concerned when I saw some something um, on our local bike shop's webpage that said loud. You know, I like the sound of a, a Harley like the next man but um, I just uh, don't want that drone, that loud drone you know when you're doing a long ride especially um, gets a bit much after a while so that put me off. Of course I'm not saying that the Reinhardt Racing do drone. Yeah so the muffler I'm looking at is the uh, um, Barnes and Hines um, slip-on I think it's called Titan um, and they're the four and a half inch diameter like I say the reason I like them is that they're probably not that they don't have that raspy bloody sound they've got proper what looks like fiberglass baffles on them rather than just baffles that have holes bored down the middle of them so uh, yeah we'll just have to wait and see oh well just had a bit of a stop here in Ash Burton a bit of a break met uh, new rider here, new member Richie, he's joining us rest of the ride through to Geraldine yeah, yeah, no it is quite busy actually school holidays maybe, I don't know part of the road here. It's quite a bottleneck coming through um, Ashburton, State Highway 1 and uh, yeah if it's busy he ends up with long queues getting through the town. Okay so we're turning off State Highway 1 now onto State Highway 79 for Geraldine. I mentioned it's cold. Struth, it's not getting any warmer. And we, funnily enough, as we get closer to those snow clad mountains. Alright, guys, it's coming into Geraldine, our destination for lunch. Man, I have a feeling that the batteries are either run out in my heated gloves or I never turned them on properly when I left um, Ashburton because man especially with my right hand the old fingers are frozen oh here he is 
the farm shop cafe awesome been here very before it's very nice <laughs> yeah, it's not going! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, well, we're all warmed up. Nice hot coffee, bacon and egg pie. Bloody lovely. Time to hit the road. Oh, that was a good break. <sighs> so we were planning on going on going through uh, the Rakai Gorge on the way home which is sort of a little bit of the long way home but it's much nicer road, uh, ride but evidently the road is not that flash at the moment so um, yeah we've decided to, uh, the road captain has decided to flag that and I think we're going to go as far as Mayfield and then turn off and uh, head back towards possibly require and the State Highway 1 anyway take the main road back home. Nice guy. So he, that's his first Harley he's ever owned. Got a feeling that he's been around motorcycle for a while. When a guy talks about uh, riding his chopper back in 1985, you know he's been, <laughs> he's been around and had a fair bit of experience on the old bikes. But I think most of his bikes were like um, Triumphs, Bibles, etc. Anyway, like I say, he's a nice guy. Great to meet you, Richie. Hopefully we'll see you on another one. Oh, well, that's Troy peeling off on his new heritage. Nice bike. Oh, well guys, I might wrap this video up here. Another great ride with the Hog Club. Fairly small group of us today, but that's all good. A great ride. Friggin' first half, I've got to admit, was bloody cold. It certainly got a bit warmer after lunch, heading home or heading north. Warmed up a bit, thankfully. Thanks to Glenn for organising the ride. Our new director for the year. Big responsibility taking on jobs like that, so good on him. Anyway, like I say, hope you enjoyed the short vid, guys. And, uh... Don't forget if you liked it, leave a like, comment, share and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers guys.